you beat them at their place it's over at your place is it is it sort of an, an easy case of you guys to go out and win it now? <laughs> no, nah, no chance at all. Wouldn't even put easy in Warrington um, in the same uh, sentence because it's uh, definitely going to be a tough match. You know, they uh, they're going to get a lot of confidence. They come here, I think, halfway through the year and you know give us a good touch up here on our home turf. So it's um, yeah, look, it's you know it's 80 minutes in uh, prelim final. It's you know it's going to be even more more intense and um, a lot harder definitely. And the fixture last time down here was a. It sort of came down to a, a battle of defences. Is, is is that what you expect again? Are you going to have to tighten up that attack that you talked about before? Yeah, we, yeah, we probably need to make some adjustments to our attack, and uh, certainly, you know, hopefully, be a bit more patient with the ball, and you know, and uh, and respect uh, the the very good defence that Saints have got. Um, you know, it was uh, it was very defensive. Both, you know, I thought both teams defended pretty well last time, and with them certainly uh, a little bit ahead of us in that respect. Uh, however, um, attack-wise, I just thought we were way off what we needed to do and needed to be. So, yeah, if, we, if we're if we able to handle that and change that and, and uh, you know, cope with that, uh, I'd like to ask a few more questions of Saints if we can, but uh, we'll see. Um, we'll see how we execute and see how we go out there and handle the occasion. We obviously pinpointed that area, you know, a few months back that we needed to improve. Uh, probably the Manchester weekend where we, we sort of leaked a lot of points against Wigan and um, you know a lot of us were pretty embarrassed really with, with the uh, performance and um, you know I think since then we've, we've really worked, worked hard as a crew to, to, uh, to improve and you know as the week's gone by we've just built up some confidence um, and, and last weekend it's probably one of the better, better uh, defensive efforts we've had so I guess when you have that confidence it makes things a lot easier. Yeah you know, and these big games defence you know will win your games and um, you know every team can score points it's just what a matter of which team um, stops the opposition from scoring those points so it's um, you know it's something that we've really got to be on um, this week and especially against a team like Warrington who do love a bit of offload and um, you know, expensive football. You know we're learning some lessons about how to play at this time of the year and stage of the year um, the rugby league changes slightly the weather changes the the time of day that you play um, and certainly for us it, you know it's not like a sun, sunny sun, um, sunny sun day afternoon at three o'clock when it's it's bright and uh, dry and you can throw the ball around it's you know there's dew in the grass if not rain so you know it's at this time of the year you've got to play slightly differently and you know we've got to make some adjustments to that and then you know, for a team that likes to play expansively, it's uh, it's not always easy for us to to make those adjustments. But we're we're doing our best. Yeah, I think it's definitely you know one of the one of the smarter ways to play you know wet weather football. Um, you know, obviously ball security and completions are um, definitely going to help us win the game. So if we can be fairly high in both those two areas, then I think that's um, you know that's going to help us you know get get ahead on the scoreboard. So. Um, you know, looking forward to you know, playing some attractive, good rugby and, and defending really well. But at the same time, we have to be pretty smart. A couple of forwards out for you at the moment: Gareth Carvel and Benny Westwood. Uh, missed the game at the weekend. How are they coming on? Yeah, no, they're fine. Uh, well, there's a chance of both of them playing, so we could be aside from Gareth O'Brien, we could be at full strength. Uh, so. You know, depending whether Benny comes through, I'm pretty confident Carves will be uh, available to us. So, um, you know, there's a fair chance Benny might make it too. So, we're we're not too uh, injury stricken. We got you know pretty clean bill of health and uh, you know got some real uh, problems in selections now. One thing to get excited about, you know, it's going to be a you know, traditional uh, rivalry slug match. You know, obviously it's um, you know teams, two teams are going to be out there bashing each other, and you know after 80 minutes, there's going to be um, one sad and one happy team um, moving on to the following week. And you're confident you can be that happy team? Uh, yeah, look, you got to go in confident. Um, you know, we're a great outfit and a great team, and you know we're here at home. But uh, yeah, there's one big uh, obstacle in front of us, and that's Warrington.